Good morning. So today is the Girl Wash Your Face Chapter 2 video. And um, the lie is I'll start tomorrow. How many times have we said that? Um, now for you girls, you have started um, with your health and fitness journey. So that's huge, first of all. So I want you to like take a minute and realize like, I don't know how many times you've said you were going to start, but like you started, you said yes to this group, you're doing it, even if you're not doing it in your mind as like perfect or all in or anything, you said yes and that is huge. You are here, if you are watching this video, that's even more, not only did you say yes to this group, but you are looking at it, you're interacting with it, even if you're not commenting, you're still watching, and I just want to acknowledge that for a minute, like, that's big, so don't, make sure you acknowledge that, so yay all of you. So anyway, so I have lots of notes again, so I'll kind of just go through these. So um, she talks about like starting things and stopping things and how that becomes a habit. So if we're constantly starting something, stopping something, starting something, stopping something, um, that's training our brain that that's a habit and that's what we do. Oops, low battery. <laughs> um, so we really want to think about that. Like, are you trained right now to stop the things you start or are you trained that you finish the things you start and you follow through on what you commit to. So just kind of something to think about. Um, oh, and do you break promises to yourself but keep your word for other people? Um, so I thought that was pretty powerful. Like, um, are you someone, hey, mama dame, um, are you someone who, like, if you say, okay, I'm gonna do this for me, but you'll back out of it, but you never back out of things for other people. Like, you wanna think about it, like you, like, you are your friend. Would you back out on your friend constantly? Um, if you, hopefully you wouldn't. Um, if you would, that's something else to think about. <laughs> are you that flaky friend? Um, but if you wouldn't, why are you flaking out on you but you would never do that to someone else. So she kind of talks a little bit about that and I really liked that. Um, I don't know about you, but like, do you have that friend who like you can't rely on? You know, you make plans and you're like, yeah, this isn't gonna happen versus the friend when you make plans and you know you're doing it. Um, you know, who do you wanna be? Hey Libby. So she talks about like, which, which friend do you wanna be? Do you wanna be the one that people can count on or do you wanna be the one that you, you can't count on and deciding that that's a decision that's a type of person and a huge part that comes into this is that if you're saying yes to too many things you might end up being that flaky friend um so really like she says it at the bottom slow down your yes it's like at the bottom of my notes but i loved that she says slow down your yes so i know for me like i just want to say yes right away to things um, yes, I know, Libya, you are like all in this chapter for me. <laughs> um, I want to say yes, right? It's like, oh, that sounds fun. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, that sounds like something I should do. And like automatically you're like, yes. She says, slow down your yes. Are you doing it because you feel like you have to? Are you doing it because you want to? Are you doing it because you know you will follow through? Those are just some things to be thinking about. Like, so I loved her, her slow down your yes. Really think about it. Like, are you saying it just out of habit saying yes? Um, and you wanna, you're in charge of your time. She doesn't really talk about that, but that you're the only one. Everyone else is gonna come in on your time. You're the only one that gets to decide yes or no. Okay. Um, the other thing that was like a little bit of a gut punch. Um, how many times have your children watched you give up on yourself? Ouch. <laughs> so that's that for I'm sure for most of us, a lot of us in here, um, that probably is going to resonate a ton um, because you you would never want your children giving up on themselves. Right. And like really think about it. Have they seen you give up on things? Have you started something that's good for you and then given up on it? Um, or given up on yourself like, OK, I have time for all these other people, but I don't have time for me. Um, they see that and I think it's a lot, it's a lot more power, powerful if 
even though it's hard taking time away from them, I know for those of us that have like young kids, I think it's a lot more powerful for them to see like you taking care of you because you're important. That tells them you're important and it tells them that they're important enough to take care of themselves. So if they see you taking care of yourself and being nice to you and saying good things about you and about your body, they're going to internalize that in a good way, not a bad way. So I liked how she said that, but that was like a, ah, ouch. <laughs> um, so what is your pattern? Um, is your pattern starting things and stopping things? Or is, is your pattern saying yes to everything? Is your pattern finishing what you started or following through? Whatever it is, like you can change it. There's no rule that says you have to keep doing what you're doing. So her rule, she started, um, she tells a story about how she got off Diet Coke. Um, her rule is don't break a promise to yourself. So she decided she would never break a prom promise to herself. If she says she's going to do her workout, she does her workout. Um, if she says she's going to go out with her friends, she goes out with her friends. If she says she's going to spend time with her kids, she spends time with her kids. Um, so being that person that you don't fall, that you don't break out of your promises is going to make you do two things. It's going to make you follow through, but it's also going to make you slow down that yes and not say yes to things that you don't think you'll follow through on. Um, she used an example like if saying yes to um, committing to four workouts a week is like maybe it'll happen, maybe it won't, not super realistic. Like say yes to two workouts a week and just really crush those two workouts and that's awesome. So really like thinking what you know, we want to have these big goals. Like Libby had that awesome big goal post today. We need those big goals so we know like what we're working towards. But then we need these little realistic goals that are going to get us there. So like Alana's always saying two pounds at a time or 0.2 pounds at a time. We need to make sure we're not like over promising ourselves and then feeling bad about, Emily was kind of talking about that too, about what, um, what we're doing or not doing. Um, do I really have time? Do, 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 do. Um, oh, and then, okay, so now we're towards the end. So then she said the things that helped her, which I thought was so funny. So the first one, she talks about water, how we should be drinking half our ounces, half our body weight in ounces of water, which I loved because we're all doing that or at least trying to do that. Um, so I really liked that. Um, being careful with your commitments. That's the slow down your yes. I think that's huge. Yes, I love the three months. That's what's nice about this group, girls, is it's three months. So we can make those big goals and we can make the day-to-day -day goals. It's not like the 30-day groups that are just over super fast. Um, okay, and then, oh, her last thing is be honest with yourself and what you're canceling on. Um, so she said to really reflect back, like, and be honest. Like, what are you canceling on? What are you saying yes to and then not following through on? And just kind of be conscious of it. This isn't like to make you feel bad if you're that flaky friend right now or if you're flaking out on yourself or if you're flaking out on other people. This is not to make you feel bad. This is just to be conscious of it. Once we're conscious of it, we can change it, right? So um, just kind of thinking about that. And then here's our discuss discussion, <laughs> discussion questions. I'll post them in, the, in type two up there. Okay, what are you putting off for tomorrow that you should do today? So what are you putting off for tomorrow that you should do today? And just start really thinking about what you really want versus like what you're pretending to want. So really get like, get honest with yourself. Are you, this is probably like hitting Libby. Are you saying yes to things that you don't really want to do? So are you saying yes to things you don't really want to do because you are in charge? Um, and what are you putting off for tomorrow that you should do today or that you want to, I don't like the word should do, that you want to do today. Um, so we'll post those below in the comments. We'll think about them. Um, feel free to message your coach separately if you don't want to put it in the comments. But this chapter was great. The I'll start tomorrow because how many times have we said we're going to start something and then not. So hopefully everyone has a good day and I will see you all later. Bye.